On your mark, get set, go. I'm Shelby Thornton, you're pointing for Bass City B, and I'm here at the annual Soapbox Derby, one of the coolest charity events of the year. We started with, I think, four cars the first year, and it's grown into uh, uh, some years we've had up to 80 cars. We had a little bit of a drop off this year, but it's still plenty of excitement, and uh, it's just fun to see everybody out here. We have a good time here. Again, this is all about the kids. These races have been here for years down at Mount Clemens, and this is a lot of fun. This is an exciting time. The families come out this year. They got great weather for it. So, again, we from the Sheriff's Department are very supportive of this, and I know from the bench, uh, Sheila's been very supportive of what goes on in this community. We're just glad they invited us down here to be part of the races. Look at all these cars here can't imagine the time that's been put in putting these cars in here, you know, together. And the kids are going to have a great time. Is there any competition you want to beat out today? No, no, no competition? What about everybody? You don't want to win? No, I just, I'm, I'm here just for fun. I'm here because I want to support the Soapbox Derby in Mount Clemens. I think it's a great activity, raises money for charity, and it's good for the community. I'm joined here at the finish line with longtime volunteer Harry Deal, and he's going to tell us how the times are computed. Yeah, uh, what we do down here at the finish line is we have a couple of people that um, have uh, uh, timers. We have stopwatches, and uh, what we do is we are in constant contact with the top of the hill by walkie-talkie, uh, and uh, as they uh, start up the race, we hear them say, you know, go, in essence, and we start timing down here. One person is assigned each lane with the walkie-talkie. Now, uh, we've had cases where it's very close on the timing. Uh, we do have a third person always at the timer's uh, table to act as a, a fail-safe if one of the, the watches doesn't work. We also have set up a uh, camera with stop action. You can see on a step-by-step -step process, frame-by-frame, who actually won the heat. We've had a lot of close races these past years, and uh, the, the camera never lies, and you know very well what a camera does, so it's, it's eliminated a lot of problems. Judging was the hardest part, because there were a lot of people that put a lot of hard work into it, and you feel bad not picking all the cars, but some had a little bit more, just a little bit more oomph that you could just pick. When we looked at the cars, what we are trying to judge is detailing, color, and theme. Just to keep the event going takes a lot of effort on a number of different people so uh, we're always looking for, for new people to get involved. It's always good to help our little kids and um, and um, try to you know enjoy the fact that they they have a day out here today and enjoying themselves and it's just nice. It's like bringing me back to my childhood so it's very enjoyable. Our guys are pretty much helping all different venues as far as lifting and um, moving carts around, different equipment and things of that nature. This year's Soapbox Derby had something new. Local officials competed head-to-head -head for bragging rights, which got pretty ugly. I'm getting ready to do a little bit of racing here. Uh, we drive police cars all the time, so this probably won't be something new to me. <laughs> the judge here, though, I'll tell you what, I've heard about her driving. It's pretty good. However, I don't know that she's going to be able to take me out in this race. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. This is the first time. I don't know that I can fit, though, into one of those. So hopefully they're going to bring some bigger cars. <laughs> I'm here to participate in a soapbox derby race, but I'm also here to uh, judge some of the cars. I am judging the cars, and I'm also supposed to race in a car, <laughs> which I have no idea what that's going to be like. As you can see, there are a lot of different ways you can become involved with the Soapbox Derby. Whether you're interested in becoming a sponsor, a volunteer, or a participant in next year's race, make sure you come out next year at the Saturday after Labor Day and join us. For Bass City Beat, I'm Shelby Thornton.